We're live from Las Vegas celebrating 10 years of reInvent. I'm Kelly Schultz and today I'm here with Lori Schmertz, Jim Burrell from the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center in Seattle and Shannon O'Fallon from AWS to talk about the Hutch's work to eliminate cancer and other diseases. But before we talk to our guests, Rudy and Melissa earlier today were in the Hutch's Obliteride Lounge right here at reInvent. So check this out. No five. I'm too slow. Let's head back to Kelly and learn more about it. So much fun. So in case you don't understand, the Hutch Obliteride Lounge here at reInvent is where attendees can go to either walk or run or ride a bike for five minutes and then we donate $5 to the Hutch. Um, I know that we've already had a ton of participants. I know I went early this morning to make sure I got my mom's name on the Who I Ride For board and to get my donation made. I also was able to make a personal donation to the Hutch outside of what AWS is doing. So we highly recommend those of you who are in person to go to the lounge and, and participate. But we've all been working on this experience for quite some time together. And Jim, I know that AWS and Amazon was the first gold sponsor of Obliteride. But tell us a bit more about the program and how we work together. Yeah, no, thank you, Kelly. Um, you know, with the partnership at AWS, when we realized that COVID was changing the world for all of us, we knew we needed to take Obliteride to where the people were. Yeah. And with the global partnership that we had with AWS, we knew that we could uh, take our local event and grow exponentially to encompass all 50 states. And this year we ended up with uh, 40 countries from around the world. And, and that partnership has really uh, helped us um, raise awareness and funds that uh, support the ongoing research here at Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center. Yeah, it was incredible. Like, to be honest, I was a little bit like, I don't think this is gonna work virtually. I was a, you know, and then it did. I mean, we killed it. It was really, really uh, kind of special and to see the way that people interacted and all sorts of things from like yoga to kayaking um, every day I would get online and kind of see how people were, you know, interacting virtually and it was really extraordinary. We wanted to be inclusive, so yeah. allowing people to choose their own activities, start whenever they wanted, as long as they finished by the event day, really uh, uh, enhanced the experience of all of our participants. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Lori, so I know that you've been involved with Obliteride, but I also know that we have been partners with Hutch for quite some time and that we have other strategic initiatives that we work on with the Hutch. Tell me a bit about those programs and how we got to, to partner. Like, how did we get together? You're right, Kelly. Since 2016, AWS and Amazon has been supporting Obliteride through sponsorships. Mm -hmm. But ever since then, we've really grown our partnership across Fred Hutch, and we are working together to to have in-kind cloud credits for mm -hmm. our incredible fearless scientists in advancing their life-saving research. Um, one really cool example is our microbiome researchers. They were able to take seven years of computing data down to seven days. And through that, we were able to see the microbiome samples a little bit clearer and see the length in better health outcomes. So it really is our goal to advance research process on the AWS cloud so we can get closer to advancing our research. I mean, that is an amazing fun fact. I mean, to go from seven years to seven days, you're talking about that's real impact. That's an ability for a science scientist to take data and information and get that out in in a really quick time frame so exciting work and i find that um a little bit mind-blowing right like just super super exciting so shannon i know that this is all about education for you about community building tell me why you wanted to be a team captain why you wanted to help grow this initiative at amazon and aws 
Yeah, thanks Kelly. So um, I became really involved with Fred Hutch Obliteride in 2017. Um, I had been diagnosed with cancer myself. Mm -hmm. And as I was going through treatment, um, I found out that we had a, a team at Amazon that was participating in Obliteride. And in 2017 and 2018, I participated just by raising funds. Mm -hmm. uh, physically, I had a lot of limitations from my cancer treatment. So I couldn't physically participate, but I was able to raise funds. And then in 2019, there was an opportunity to sort of take the reins and become the team captain. And um, I did, and I've you know helped grow the um, the participation and the number of Amazonians and friends and family of Amazonians to get involved with Obliteride. Um, as as you said, it's about community. It's about building that awareness, and I'm trying to, um, as a team captain, bring that awareness to Amazon. You know, whether you are an Amazonian in Seattle or Singapore, you can get involved with Obliteride, you can help raise funds. Um, and that's the amazing work that I find with the Hutch is um, that they're a global, you know, they're a global organization. They are curing cancer, not just, you know, in one location, but they're trying to cure cancer for everyone. Uh, and so it's, it's obviously, you know, near and dear to my heart, this cause. Um, but I think, you know, telling other Amazonians that you can get involved, you can truly make a difference, and going virtual, it's just um, allowed us to, to really expand that. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty unbelievable. I believe we had 3,000 virtual uh, Amazonians who participated this year, and I think, how many did we have last year? Yeah, so before the pandemic, we had 257 uh, participants, and so we grew that from 257 to 3,000, so yeah. it's truly amazing. Uh, I mean, we're super proud of that work. I know the four of us and, and others as well at Amazon and AWS have really worked together to develop and create this partnership, but super exciting. So Jim and Lori, what can people do? Whether they're here at reInvent or they're watching virtually in another country, what can they do to participate? How do they get involved? Yeah, so people can give of their time, their talent, and their treasure. In fact, now through the end of this year, Every dollar that we receive is doubled. And you can either direct that to our greatest need or to any type of cancer research. And I'm super excited to announce that we've been working for quite a while with AWS to create ongoing volunteer opportunities so Amazonians can use their time and expertise, work alongside our fearless scientists to help save lives, wipe out cancer, and eliminate infectious diseases around the world. So more to come in 2022. I mean, I give a big like woot woot to that, like woot woot, that is super exciting. Amazonians love to volunteer, they love to get involved, and this is such a great opportunity and a cause. So whether it's money or like you said, your time, your talent, your treasure, like there's a lot of ways to participate. So uh, Jim, when's the next time if you are going to do it with yeah. the Obliteride program? Yeah, so mark your calendar. Uh, we'll be opening registration in early April of 22 uh, with, a, with the, both an in-person and a virtual event. So again, registered early. You can start your virtual activity whenever you want, but on August the 12th and the 13th of uh, 2022, We'll be in person back in Seattle, Washington. Okay, I'm beyond excited. I will definitely be running, but I do love the, I wanna reiterate, I love the globalness of this program. So no matter where you sit, you can participate. We hope you do. We hope you create your own mini Obliteride events all throughout the world. Um, and if you're here at reInvent, we of course hope that you come to the Obliteride Lounge and participate. You guys, I'm so excited to be here with you, see you in person. I'm so excited that this has gone well for us. And thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. So uh, that's it, Kelly Schultz, you're watching live from reInvent.